Hello friends, recently we completed a library management system in PHP. Now in this video I am going to show you how you make your website live. So for make your website live, you have to upload your website on domain and hosting. So first of all you need to buy domain hosting. So you can see this is a triple zero web host. This is the free domain and hosting. So you can upload your website here in free. But later on, if you want to upload in GoDaddy or any other hosting, then don't worry because you need to follow these same steps. So no worry about that. Now you need to write here your email address, which is the right now in working mode because you will get uh, email uh, on this email address. Now I write here email address. Now I need to write here password. Uh, it is not your gmail password but you need to write your password for this triple zero web host and you need to write here your, your website name so your website name should be looked like this and now get free hosting it will take some time so we have to wait until then Now you can see on our registered email address which we enter we get this email and now only we need to click here verify email so yeah our email is verified now and now we are on our hosting panel now first of all we need to create uh, our file manager means uh, we need to use FTP access so here we need to check no so we need to find from where we can uh, create our ftp yeah so you can see this is our ftp detail this is our host name this is our username and the password is same as your website password so what we have to do you need to download this software it is known as filezilla this is the software name filezilla here you need to write here your host name so our host name is each and every hosting provider will provide this host name to you so you need to write your host name now you need to write here your username so i am going to write here username and here you need to write password so i am going to write password which i use uh, on registration time and port by default is 21 so you need to write here 21 and you need to click on quick connect and you have to wait always trust and ok now here you need to open this is your computer and this is the hosting just consider so this is public html it is known as your hosting ht dots so double click on this and if you don't need this then you can delete this but uh, right now i am going to keep this same now you can see this is my computer's php lms folder inside this we have this two folder library and student so directly i need to upload right click and need to upload it will take some time but uh, to upload uh, and you have to wait until that we can see the process is start here four files successfully transferred now seats and this is the remaining files so you have to wait until that but up to that you, you need to create your one database so i am going to uh, go here in manage database in manage database i need to create one database so i am going to do your new database we have to write here our database name so i am going to write here for database name php lms and you, we need to write here username so i am going to write here username is amit and i am going to write here password for database but when you are going to create a database and something like this you need to write in your notepad file so you don't forget this db name you need to write here username and you need to write here password uh, I know my password <laughs> so don't require to write this now this uh, two is important for me so now I am going to create this database it will in processing 
meanwhile we are going to check what is the process in this filezilla yes it is uploading so we have to wait until complete this and here also it is creating database you can see we write php lms but it change our db name and it use our db name like this our this db username db host and password which we enter we know that so this is our db name so i am going to copy this db name and here i am going to use this and they change my username also so no problem oh yeah and now we have to wait meanwhile we are going to check here oh yeah only 100 files are remaining to upload yeah our database is ready and now i am going to open php my admin oh yeah they are asking you password then close this and click again so they will directly uh, forward you on php my admin yeah so you can see this is your database which you created right now now uh, we need to wait uh, before that i am going to copy this and in my local php my admin we need to change my database name so here you can see our database name was lms so i am going to click on this then i am going to do your operation in this operation i am going to rename database and i am going to write my database name should be like this now go okay so my database name is remain now it is renamed now click on this and now i am going to export it will take some time so we have to wait yeah it is export now go and now we are going to save this on my desktop yeah so from localhost i export this database and you can see this is a live database so click on this <coughs> and now we need to import here so i am going to click here now browse and now i am going to click here my database name and now i am going to click on go yeah so you can see my whole tables are here now we need to wait for this and yeah this is also successfully completed now open this student folder and we need to open our cowln.php means connection.php view edit and we need to ch change our local username password here local host but here our username is this so i am going to copy this now paste here and we need to write here password and db name here db name now uh, copy this line so i copy this and now in librarian we need to open this connection.php and in library and also we need to paste this link now save this file and now we are going to open this but We need to find our website name, my profile, yeah, 
no here not we are getting this so we need to go on my websites Yeah, in librarian we are getting error so we need to check in librarian connection.php no here don't we need to write root we need to write our username now it is uploaded yeah so this is no error now and now we are going to on student folder and we need to change that we are going to write our username and now we are going to save this file now <coughs> we use our website name is LMS but they change our website name and they give our website name should be like this I already use the website name is LMS but I think uh, I already registered uh, one website using this email address so they change my website name but it is okay uh, now uh, just we have to ch uh, check how we can upload website in live so you can see here this is a database and now i am going to check my username password and i am going to do login in library and site in, in table we can see our username is abc and password is def so i am going to check here username is abc and password is db sorry def so here we are going to check we can login or not and you can see we are logging here so this way we can upload your website in hosting uh, but if you purchase uh, your domain hosting GoDaddy, then your website name is not changed your website name should be remain same but this is the free hosting so sometime mm, this happens but no problem our basic concept was how we can upload our website freely on domain and hosting so this way we can upload your website free on this but now you can see one thing now i am going to log out this and you can see when i am going to open this on that time you can see you can see like this but we don't want this type of then what you have to do you have to just create one new file i am going to create one new file new php file name index and in this file we need to just pass script type text slash javascript and now between these we need to forward window.location is equal to we need to check our student login page name login.php then student slash login.php okay now we need to upload this file in root so if you want to go back one step then you have to click on this and now you need to upload this index.php here <coughs> and now if anyone going to open this page then you can see it will forward you to student login so this way we can perform this operation this way we can upload your website freely on domain hosting thank you
thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it maximum thank you so much again